about uh, the Python-based reinforcement learning, artificial intelligence and, intelligence and neural network library. I'm a student uh, at a master's level at McGill, and I work in the Department of uh, Music Technology. The reason I started working with PyBrain was um, we work in the, uh, the, the laboratory of uh, new instruments, digital instruments. And a lot of times, what you need to do for uh, digital instruments is uh, you don't really have uh, preset gestures. You don't, you don't know how a new, an artist is going to play a, a given instrument. And so there are different ways of, um, whoops, whoa. So there are different ways of um, training your gestures on a new instrument. And one of them is using what's called implicit mapping. And uh, we do implicit mapping with machine learning. So uh, what I did was I had an instrument, and it had about 64 signals coming from different sensors. And I used PyBrain uh, as, as an implicit layer to, to train my gestures. So I had you know this kind of gesture, this kind of gesture and different kinds of bending. And then you can train these, and then you activate your network, and it'll, it'll compute the results in real time. And then you connect those results to sound. So PyBrain is a, let's see, is a collaborative research project. It's developed by uh, researchers at the Dalmo Institute for Artificial Intelligence and the uh, Technical University of Munich in Germany. There is a well, website, pybrain.org, and the, uh, the documentation is pretty extensive. Uh, it covers a series of algorithms, supervised unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning, different kinds of artificial neural networks. Um, there's plotting tools you can read and write to XML. And they, they started building environments specifically for gaming, or for 3D. There are some environments for building toys. And it's generally a lot of fun to work with. Um, I'm, not, uh, uh, I'm not really a, an artificial intelligence expert, but I found this to be really easy to get started with, both in, in terms of learning and in terms of uh, you know, learning about machine learning in general and about Python and, uh, and about neural networks. So what I'm going to show you is a really quick example of how you would build uh, an artificial neur neural network. And um, then uh, there is, uh, I have two pictures of a demo of a before training and after training environment. So what you need to do, since there's so many different algorithms in PyBrain, and in general, you, I mean, you have to kind of know what you want, what you're going to be training. So um, you have to import a bunch of necessary sub-libraries. Since I'm working, I'm, I decided for this demo to do a supervised training uh, on, a, on a neural network and uh, a backpropagation training. So I import the, the sub-libraries. I take in supervised data set and the uh, backprop trainer. And then I take uh, a tool to build a network. And I also take in tools to uh, read and write to XML. Then to create your network, you create the data set, and then you create a network. You can load your external data set either from an XML file or from a CSV file. And then you train it. The um, parameters for training are uh, a bit more detailed. And then you can test it um, to see how well you did. So this is a, a demo that's on the PyBrain website. It's basically two sine waves that are superimposed on top of each other. And at the beginning of the training, they're just random, random uh, numbers. And then after an hour uh, of, uh, of training, they're literally superimposed. So in general, I found this uh, library to be a pretty, really easy to use and relatively uh, perform, you know, good, good performance. And I'm not, um, I don't, have a huge comparison base with other machine learning libraries. But for me, this worked perfectly. So um, do you have any questions, or would you like to see the, the website? Mm -hmm.